Alright guys, we all know Minecraft Lapis. Hello there guys. My name is Jarvis Thompson C and in this video we're going to be talking about Minecraft Lapis when it was added, what it does, why I feel it's so undervalued, and a few ideas on how Mojang could fix it. But yeah guys, if you enjoyed the video, please drop a like and sub it will to sub the channel a ton. You can also comment down below your opinion on this whole situation. Please comment down below if videos you might have. And yeah guys, let's just get into the video. So now, Lapis was an orb that was added in version 1.2. Forgive me if I can't speak for a very long time as I am all sick. And basically, it added the ores Lapis, Lapis. And shortly after 1.17, it added Deep Slate Lapis. And now 9 Lapis, as I will show. Nine lapis can make a lapis block, which is a cool little decorative block. But now let's talk about lapis and its actual uses. So now most of its uses are actually just a decorative. Most of it, surprisingly. Like for example, do you know that um, that lapis can actually be used to turn into blue dye? And in bedrock edition and education edition, after I did some research, apparently lapis can be used in things like, you know, like clay and this stuff. So basically, it can be used to make a blue dye. However, cornflowers exist, and you don't even have to go in caves for those. So, and you don't have to trade for those. So probably that's just a better alternative. Although it is a cool little side use, but it's mostly just decorational. But now let's talk about actually useful features. It only has one, enchanting. And this was added in 1.4. Meaning that before 1.4, you literally didn't need lapis, making it essentially useless. Now, let's talk about it. Okay. So as we can see, here's all the lapis, and now lapis is necessary for enchanting, just in case some of you don't know, because, well, wait, just, just let me make this again. Perfect. Okay, so now basically lapis is supposed to go in this slot. Now I'm going to give myself a sword and some lapis. And slash game mode survival. Okay, so now, now see when I put this in a netherite sword, basically I can't select anything, however, I can see the enchantments. And by the way, do you know that in the past enchantments were much worse to deal with? I might make a video on that if you guys want that. And basically, so now I'm going to be clicking something. So now, as you can see with this netherite sword, I have the option for unbreaking three. So now I'm going to be clicking it. Sharpness four, knockback two, unbreaking three, four. Holy lord, that's a really good sword. Okay, but now let's continue on with the video. So now, basically, another use of the lapis, which again is just decorational, is literally to be turned to blue dye, and you can also use it in smithing templates. I know it's a very underwhelming use, yeah, and now look, another thing that would be cool for Mojang to add to Lapis is that maybe it could be used with beacons, I'm not sure though, I think it would be cool though, but maybe it would just be too overpowered due to how easy Lapis is to get, although Iron is arguably easier to get, so maybe this would be a good use, but now guys, now I think you can see the problem with Lapis, now it's not really an issue, the community doesn't really care about it, but... Basically, Lapis has so little non-decorational uses that it's basically just used for enchanting, that's it. So we're gonna try to fix that. Number one, clearly Lapis is involved with magic, as we can see with the enchanting table. So now, you know what else is involved with magic? Portals. Like the nether portal and the end portal. Maybe, for example, there will be something like an ingredient involved with Lapis to open these portals now. Although I'm not really sure, that might just downright be annoying. But yeah, guys, at the same time, there really doesn't be, seem to be a very good solution for Lapis. And honestly, in the state that it's in, it just feels like it has way too little added to it. It's not in a bad situation, as it does have quite a few decorational uses. It's mostly just being turned to blue dye, which Cornflower can already do. But it can also be used for smithing templates, which, which blue dye can't do. And it can also be used for enchanting, one of the most essential parts in the game. Like, one of the most essential uh, progression to things in the game. But yeah, guys, that's the whole video. If you enjoyed the video, please drop a like and sub. It would seem to have the channel a ton. Please comment down below your opinion on the whole situation. Have a great rest of your day, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Please drop a like and sub. We're so close to 500 subs. And please comment down below your thoughts on the on this whole situation. And please comment down below what videos you might have. And I'll see you guys in the next video. And goodbye.